Ladies and gentlemen, this RedGamingTed.com video, we have information on the HD 9000 series for the PC. The 9000 series, I hear you scream. What about the 8000 series? Well, it appears, uh, at least from the latest leaks, that the 9000 series is going to be the one that AMD skips straight to. The 8000 series most likely is going to be for laptops and so on, at least according to the latest rumours. The Radeon HD 9000 series, also known as the Volcanic Island series, is going to be launching either late this year or possibly early next on the desktop platform, in other words, for discrete uh, GPUs. And we do actually have a little bit of information on the HD 9970. It will be 20nm and will be designed to have gate last transistor technology. And although the specification list is incomplete, for example, we don't know how much memory is going to be on there, and we don't know the clock speeds of either the core or indeed the memory itself. We do know some stuff. We do know there are going to be 4,096 stream processors, 4 geometry engines, 256 TMUs, 16 serial processing units, and 64 ROPs. What we do know about the memory is it will be a 512-bit memory bus, and unsurprisingly, we'll be seeing a GDDR5 memory in there as well. I'm not going to bother to get into G-flops or in predictions, because once again, we don't know the clock speed. However, just for reference, the desktop HD uh, 7970, and I emphasize desktop because the 7974 laptops is actually features less um, uh, specifications anyway, or lower specifications, so I say, than the, than the desktop model. But the Radeon HD 7970 desktop features 2048 stream processors. So 50% of what the 9970 does. So what about next generation systems such as the PlayStation 4? Well, just for reference, although I have done a series of videos and an article on this on Red Gaming Tech, so if you want to check out how the 7970 desktop uh, compares to the PlayStation 4, I suggest you check that out. However, just for reference, there are 18 GCN compute units on the PS4, and those will put out 1,152 stream processors. So you're looking at a difference of just over 3.5 times. So it's pretty profound. We'll be seeing a lot of GPU performance once again, however, because we don't know uh, the actual clock speeds and so on, it may not be a bigger deal. For example, the clock speeds could be lower. As an example, the 7970 desktop has a clock speed of 925 megahertz, whereas the 7970M has 850, the PS4 version, by the way, just in case you're wondering, it's 800 megahertz. So, for example, because of the 20nm manufacturing process, and obviously it's going to be fairly darn hot, it could be closer to the 800 megahertz range. Therefore, it won't be a you know so much of a jump as if it was like 900 or 950 or whatever megahertz. Anyway, I think that just about covers it for this particular video. Um, hopefully, you've enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Take care, and bye for now.